All right. What's going on? Recording? Oh, yes, I think so. Go the blues. All right. I put a podcast out there. Good morning, world. I think this hat makes my head look a bit fat. <laughs> Although, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? The bucket hat for a bucket head. What do you reckon? What do you reckon, social distances? What do you reckon, social trendsetters? Or social influencers like me? It's a cracker of a day. Yeah, it is. Well, I'm not trying to be a social influencer. I may be more like a social uh, nuisance <laughs> or a pest, which is a term that I've used or a label that I've used a few times on a few people that just don't get it. So, and whatever. I'm like whatever, really, at this stage, all right? So, knocking out of YouTube. Well, hang on, let's level that up. I need to get this tracking right, don't I? Really, check it out. You will put that on there, and that. And where am I with the... In the sun. Oh, well, in the sun. And see how that works. In the sun, I will come to see Barbados. <laughs> I think that was a hit in the 80s. I think. Yeah, the Blues. Eh? The Blues tonight. But, bold prediction, Queensland are going to beat the Blues tonight. If they don't wrap it up tonight, they'll wrap it up in the next game. They just will. Bold prediction? Crazy? Delusional? I don't know. I don't think so. But, yeah, um, my heart is like, come on, Blues. Let's put this one away tonight, right? But my head's just saying that Queensland get it. Like, uh, what Wally said. And and the evidence is there. It is, isn't it? So, you know, I'll be upsetting a few people, you know, or uh, uh, reaffirming, or, uh, you know, my um, delusional status for some people. So, but you never know. If, you know, if we all wore the same style of jeans and drove the same type of car and wore the same style and colour t-shirt, we'd be a pretty boring place, wouldn't it? <laughs> and I don't care. Sorry! <laughs> um, so, hang on, have a little bit of a look around here first. Check it. Check this out. Have a look. And I was going to pull up at another spot along here because there's many. You know, down there. Down that way. But I just thought, you know what? There's trees along there. And all the birds would poop on your car. And up here, you can kind of just avoid humans if you want, because they're just walking kind of behind you. Down there, they're walking in front of you, and they're looking, because they're paranoid, <laughs> that you're filming them. <laughs> you're doing something creepy. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that funny, hey, how we've just accepted it? Oh, look out. It's, um, it's the entrance surf life saving guys doing their job. I love them. Their lives are about to get busier too. A bit of sting in that sun today, actually. But it's just beautiful today. Yeah, there's people already down there enjoying what we take for granted. Because where my wife comes from, you have to pay to walk down there on that beach. All the play, all her, her experiences have been like that anyway. 
because when she first came here and God love her I think she was like I don't know it's almost four years ago four years ago January 1st 2017 landed in Australia so when you all of 2017 because it was the beginning of the year all of 2018 all of 2019 and almost all of 2020 so she's been here almost four years but when she first came and we went to the beach and she said oh is that is that free I said yes <laughs> and it's a beautiful thing though because I, I just love that that you know and the other uh, things that she uh, gives me much joy and pleasure, the, the laughs, you know, and because um, that's what it's all about, and we still laugh with each other and together, mostly. And um, yeah, it's great. Look, there you go. I won't film that life here too much because you'll probably come up here and want to get paid for it. You go, you film me, mate. Well, my manager wants to have a word to you. Okay, right here, lad. Oh, look, there goes a kookaburra. Oh, he just came down and got something back off up into that tree. Yeah. I can't zoom in because I can't see. And I'm not sure what I'm doing when it's not facing me. Hopefully, this isn't recording upside down like it has been. Oi, here I am. Oi. Oh, shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, so, bold prediction. Queensland to wrap it up tonight. Um, Cody Walker will have a good game, but it won't be good enough. Um, our, I just, our forwards, New South Wales forwards, just, I don't know. I'm going over the stats, and not in depth. But just looking at some of the stuff that was thrown up, and I noticed that uh, you know a few of our lads made more tackles, um, but statistically in you know, other areas were all, all like quite close, um, except for one or two other things, which I think I've already shared that post game one you know review already shared. Uh, I'm not going to read too much into the adjustments or changes in the side either. Justified. Absolutely, you know. Um, doing what needs to be done to get a desirable outcome. I just think Queensland are just, you know, more... Uh, oh yeah, look at this thing coming. Look at this. It's an ultralight. Hopefully I can get it. You see it? Is it an ultralight? Oh, it's one of those ones that can land on water. It looks like it's got that. There it is up there. Can you see it? There it goes. No, it's not an ultralight. Yeah. they call those during the war Catalunas or something I think my um, my father's father was um, during World War II was um, at the Rath Mines uh, where they had the Catalunas oh, yeah. wow cool I love that Especially one of them ones that can land on water, but, but look, you want to, you wouldn't want it to be too choppy, would you? I guess it's all about your approach too. If it was choppy and you had to land, you'd have to. Yeah, I know the conditions need to be right, don't they, for those things to land? I wonder, yeah, yeah. I don't know too much about those. Anyway, I've always been the underdog in just about everything and I guess maybe not just from my <clears throat> attitude um, and I mean having plenty of people tell you that oh, yeah, you're dreaming or that's not achievable or you know uh, giving me the um, 
the pessimistic uh, outlook or, um, you know, not really being as optimistic or as uh, positive or desirous as I. Um, and I don't know if somebody telling me that I can't achieve something or I can't do something was the catalyst for, you know, my, um, you know, what drove me to, to want to achieve. I just, if something interested me and I wanted to do it, I'd, I'd just have a, have a crack at it. But I was never afraid to. So, you know, um, and, it, and never really thinking about failure. I mean, you do calculated risks, right? Well, most people do. And I do, but I'm also just like, like you know what? Just, let's just see what happens. As long as, like, um, you know, because there's always a, a, something else that you can move on to from that experience if it doesn't work out. And that's happened a few times. So, for me... I, you know, I'm just happy to have a crack at it. Um, I think recently, um, talking about uh, signing a, like a work contract, um, I was having a conversation with somebody and they were like, oh, you know, I'm not going to sign it. And, and I just went, you know what, if it doesn't work out, I'm not afraid to try something new or to start something new. I've done it heaps of times. And that, even that hasn't always worked out. Or, you know... Uh, I, I haven't enjoyed it as much as I thought I was going to but sometimes it's just an in-between thing too isn't it so yeah I love the underdog tag uh, always have I like to um, sneak in under the radar um, not deliberately but just you know just going about my business and, and never talking it up too much even when I was coaching I would try to keep um you know, too much of the the hype out, but let let the boys know that you know what they've achieved and and you know that they need to embrace that and um, you know consider that uh, you know what that means and in in moving forward onto the next challenge. So you know, mine mind games and and uh, you know Wayne Bennett is the, the king of that. Um, that people think when they think they know what he's up to yeah, because there's people like predicting what's going on with the player movements at South Sydney and how Wayne says oh we're not, we're not interested in this one or that one well you never know there's been a couple of times when he said that and we've got the man but there's also been other times when he said it and nothing's happened. And I'm not just talking about it South Sydney, but around, you know, during his career. So he's he's not as predictable as what people think. Yeah. And for a guy to take, uh, you know, many sides to prelims and even uh, be a runner-up, you know, and have him won, I think, what is it, seven in his career... And for people still to say he can't catch. Oh. And then I read a really good um, a post about the Sawali kid and somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody, and it kind of made me feel really good about what I wrote about the kid. And I don't know Jack about him, but it just you know made me feel really good about my thoughts and. You know, the people out there that were calling for him to be punished and all this other stuff. You know, it's business. Business decisions need to be made. But I think it was a guy called um, Cookson um, in one of the South Sydney fan pages. And he wrote quite a lengthy, like a bit of a bloody novel, actually. But it was a really um, clear and, uh, you know, uh, it was balanced. And it was it was good read, and there was a, a lot of really healthy comments in there. And um, yeah, I'm I'm at ease. I don't need to. I didn't need to say anything. I think I just might have 
liked a few comments and uh, put some applauding hands in there as, as a comment and that's it. I've said what I wanted to say about that and um, it's a beautiful thing. But then we've got this same guy and we'll get move on to another one because I just, I, I think that good things need to be acknowledged and mentioned but also the nuisances, the people with that same mindset about just about anything. People like, um, you know, um, still bad mouth and Cody Walker's selection um, and this same guy um, has you know was um, uh, um, you know calling out Wayne saying that he wasn't a, any sort of a super coach um, what's his name John let's call him John M and hopefully some of those people that know John M you know, really, John? Yeah, it's your opinion, your view, your thoughts, but ordinary. Ordinary. So, what is, what, did I mention the, the bloody Christmas catalogue? The Garmin, Sunto, Fossil, Diesel, Fitbit. <laughs> There's about 140. 140 smart watches, um, heart rate monitor, fitness watches, uh, all in this uh, catalogue. Um, the uh, JB Hi-Fi catalogue, at least 140. I counted like between nine and 13 on each each page. What's that? It's like going into a bottle shop and you're staring at all of those varieties in the those you know the display fridges and your eyes are rolling around like the old reels on the old slot machines uh, back in the day just literally just your head just, you know going into a tease oh, what's you know I mean it, obviously people are making money but and I guess that also brings the price down on some, some of them were like half price at 250 uh, from 500, and that's just like an entry level one. That's insane. It's crazy. I mean, how many of those things do you need? It's like watches. I mean, like fans. I've had this one. This is my second year. Own it. It's still doing what I need it to do. I probably prefer a slightly bigger one now, though, but. Like it, it's an S9 plus or an S9, and it's fine. And when I when I can't up, upgrade it or you know update it anymore, then you know I'll put, move it on and and get another one. But until then, it's fine. But there's people out there that just have to have the next one when the one that they've got isn't even six months or twelve months old. So you're constantly, you know, either on a plan or, you know, you have, probably haven't even learned to use the one that you've currently got, like mine. I still haven't learned to use all the features on it and that. I mean, if I did, I'd probably be able to do way more amazing things, but basically all I'm doing is taking photos, videos, um, you know, paying bills, communicating, um, messing around on socials. Uh, there's other things that I'd like to learn, like um, um, editing and um, doing those, uh, you know, more creative and artistic things um, within, you know, certain uh, apps and programs, um, which I'll learn more as I go. Uh, that was the whole purpose of this journey and buying a... Um, gimbal which I'm using today and there's quite a few people walking past today but I just don't get the feel that for anybody wanting to have a chat <laughs> hey no go so to my Philippine family Dobre Ultra to the Russians um, bonjour to the French merci um, guten morgen to the, the Germans 
How y'all doing? Dear America. God bless America. The United States of America. What's going on over there? Trump and Biden. It's all happening, isn't it? Uh, it just, yeah, it's interesting. And, you know, I've had a little bit to say about that recently and kind of been having a bit of fun with it. Staying away from some stuff. Got to be careful what you post on Facebook, right? <laughs> oh, you can't even have an opinion. I mean, it's not too, like, offensive. Like some of the stuff I've seen on there. Woo. Some of it sort of makes me, I wouldn't say blush, but I just sort of like get this one, right? Go squinting of the eyes. If you can see them, you probably can't. Let's, let's turn this around. Let's, let's, let's get a little bit more intense with the blues thing, all right? What do you reckon? Wearing the hat back to front. But kind of wearing the hat back to front, isn't it? But um, yeah, so uh, yeah, I've had a little bit of fun with that and found some new friends whose uh, uh, opinions and attitudes uh, in relation to um, that uh, bit of a circus, uh, you know, we've uh, yeah, found some common ground. It's, and it's, it's all it's cool. It's all good. Everyone's just having an opinion on what they want to have, an, a, you know, a, an opinion on sharing their thoughts. And um, for the most part, being respectful, but I have had a couple of people tell me that Australia doesn't need me. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Um, and these are like elitists. People with like, you know, multiple university degrees. Ooh, I'm intimidated. Hey, doesn't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing. You know, I think, uh, is it Jack Nicholson, the actor? You know, the one. I love him. Crazy as. He said that, I think it was him, and it was a meme, okay, so correct me if I'm wrong. Josh Davies, that's your, that's your thing, brother. Hey, and congratulations to Josh on his life membership um, with the Central Coast Referees Association. Deacon on his uh, Junior Referee of the Year. Well done, you guys. Tough job, and they deserve that. You know, and I've had something to say about it. Uh, you know, officials before. Um, I remember one time I asked a question on a fan page and it didn't even get a, re a reply. But I was right. It's like, you know, they all go in there with all good intentions and that. It's like being a copper and you go in there and you want to save your, your community or, you know, make a difference. And then you just get caught up in the culture. That's all I'm going to say. But, uh, you know referees or match officials tough job without them no no game you know and I think um, you know that they, they do need more uh, empathy and support um, yeah and I think I, 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 I might have mentioned something about first responders yesterday oh that's right I was having a rant about the, the guy that got the New South Wales uh, Australian of the Year the commissioner for um, whatever the fire is and how him, you know, high uh, ranking, um, you know, public servant. Um, and now he's like, you know, in line for a, a national. What, what, where's the average guy or female, the average person, human, that was running around putting out fires and while their house was burning down? Or, you know, their boss was going to fire them because um, they, you know, from their regular job because they were out there doing their bit for the community. Why aren't they ever nominated? Or why don't, ever we, why don't we ever see them uh, receiving such accolades, awards, uh, that type of recognition? So, for me, bum, bum. Um, yeah, and I was just not disrespecting, you know, I mean, he's doing his job, whether it's, uh, you know, there's a catastrophic situation going on or whether they're just, you know, um, making things balance, you know, uh, during winter, you know, and there's a little bit of backburning going on, you know, it's 
He's doing his job. What he gets paid for. Not doing it. It's like you know, uh, you know, a soldier being shot at. That's what they sign on for. They know that. That that's the possibility. It's it's there. They, you read it. You're told it. It's the same with the AMBO officers and coppers. You know, fireys. They get told that this is you know what m may happen. Uh, this is what you might be subject to. What you might witness. And I mean, some of it is quite graphic. What they're told. And. You know, some of them leave, and I've trained a few coppers that have seen some pretty horrible stuff, and I've heard the stories, and I've seen the people that are kind of, some of them were like a shell, you know, and you could see. So, no disrespect to either 20 of those um, professions. Uh, those people, those situations. But when we're talking about, you know, the, 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 the term hero or legend, how loosely it is, um, you know, used. Uh, yeah, but that's what they, those people, they sign on, you know, for that. And, and you know, um, some of them have long careers and, and, can, and, and can deal with it. Um, some of them don't see some of the stuff that that could occur in their line of work, uh, but a lot of them do. So, and I've been taught by uh, these people, uh, first responders, you know, that see some horrific stuff. Um, yeah, and they deserve uh, all of the empathy and the support that. Um, that can be given, or that should be given. But when we're talking about um, people getting Australian of the Year awards, that should be those people that are really that are on the ground. There, you know, the ones, not the, you know, because what he's not doing anything above and beyond. He's. He's been paid the crazy amount of money to do that, you know, and they... I'm just not a, a fan of the high-profile uh, public servant or uh, those people like that get those rewards and accolades um, because of their position, notoriety, status. I mean, we see people doing incredible things, uh, that, and, you know, musicians and business people and actors, artists, whatnot, that because they can, because they've got um, the public, uh, you know, they've, as their audience, they, they, I mean, you know, they're, they're in a position to, to make a difference. And if that's what they feel, then they should. Um, not just financially, but just you know, having a, a, a podium or a stadium or, you know, um, a stage, an audience to to launch um, that, that support. And I'm not talking about, you know, for Trump or for Biden. I'm talking about good causes, you know, things like mental health, um, you know, world hunger, other more pressing issues than what we're currently dealing with even so and I don't have this on tracking or anything but and it's wobbling around a little bit but whatever um so hey you know if you can help do make a difference and um yeah so like yeah there's people out there I read one this morning that um Oh, what's her name? The one whose um, father's a, oh, I don't know, an executive at a TV station or something in her country, um, Greta. Yeah, she got became famous for saying, how dare you? Yet there's a guy in, um, I don't know, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, India, who 
spent, I don't know, 30 something years of his life planting trees, which uh, has resulted in, um, uh, you know, wildlife, um, you know, habitating um, that environment that he created. And his own people don't even know, let alone the world. His own people don't even know that he's he's done what he's done. Well, you know, the locals would, but, you know, that says a lot, doesn't it? I know Greta was, you know, all about climate change and stuff. Privileged kid, though. Well, you know, yeah, I don't know, she's got, oh, I don't know, Asperger's or something. Yeah, right, eh? That's all good. And, you know, yeah, she's about a good cause, true, but... What about this other guy? <laughs> you get where I'm coming from? Ah, uh, the underdog. Uh, the silent hero. Really. So, yeah. So, uh, that was just something that just come up randomly this morning. Actually, well, it might have been really early hours this morning or late but, um, before I went to, to sleep. So, bold prediction. Um, Queensland will wrap it up tonight. I mean, New South Wales, hot favourites, playing at home, uh, made a few adjustments. Um, they'll be really hungry uh, to redeem themselves also. Um, I think that'll do for this one. I'll get, there's more that I can bang on about. I want to see your uh, Christmas trees in your front yard. Let's <laughs> come on. It's halfway through November, all right? People are just knocking stuff out early because they've got things to do, haven't they? Those early Christmas trees. And just, as we know, just after Christmas, the hot cross buns will be on the shelf within days of Christmas being finished. And the Easter eggs will be on the shelf a week or two after that. So make sure you don't miss out. social trendsetters, social distances, um, social influences, social pests. <laughs> um, be good.